Dr. Cliff AUD here again with Hearing Tracker at ADA Audacity 2018 conference. I'm here with Jackie from Otometrics. Yes, this is my second person I'm talking to from Otometrics, but I think the Auto Scan is something that's really interesting that you would be interested in learning about. So, Jackie, thank you so much for meeting with me this afternoon. Thank you. Uh, tell us about the Auto Scan. Okay, basically what we're doing is we're changing from doing silicon impression taking in the office, in the clinic, to actually using lasers. So we're actually using two different lasers to go into the patient's ear. So we're actually not having the mess, uh, the plugging feeling of silicon. We're actually gonna have a very comfortable experience for the patient where instead of taking seven to 10 minutes to actually take a silicon impression, you're gonna two minutes or less. Right, so it's really, from a clinic standpoint, it's much more efficient and quick to do and it, we don't have to mess with the silicone anymore. So one of the issues we see in my clinic specifically is if you have like a surgical ear, one of the things that is really difficult to do is to do an ear mold impression of a surgical ear really well. But not only that, I mean, when you start messing around with, you know, you're putting products inside of someone's ear, one could make the argument that from a safety perspective, that that is potentially the most dangerous thing that we could do inside of an audiology clinic, right? Absolutely, so it's non-invasive. So we're taking the, the concern of maybe having a blow by or damaging the person's ear with the silicon to where now there's there's actually no way that it could actually hurt the patient. Very good. So uh, the technology is really exciting. We're going to get into that. But I also want to talk a couple of the other benefits, right? So because we're making a digital impression instead of a physical impression, what does that mean in, turn of, in terms of benefits for the actual patient? Well, actually, it's a good question. So the, basically, you're going to save time uh, in the turnaround for getting your hearing aid or your ear, ear mold back. So instead of uh, taking the impression and having to ship it, UPS or FedEx, it actually goes into a cloud-based system where you put the, or the clinician puts the order in, uh, goes into the cloud, the manufacturer immediately gets a notice that there's a product waiting for it to be made. They, they download the uh, image, the scan down, and immediately start working on it. So you're saving four to five days of the patient's time. They can get it much sooner into their ears than if they went the uh, traditional way. So I, theoretically, you could do this impression, upload it to the cloud, the manufacturer gets it instantaneously and starts doing the production. Absolutely. And so if there's any kind of a time concern from a patient perspective, they're getting that device much quicker than they would otherwise. Absolutely, and they're also uh, less time in the chair too. So instead of saying seven to 10 minutes for a silicon impression, they're actually gonna cut it down to two minutes or less in the chair, so it's a lot faster. Uh, if it more efficient in the clinic and then on the return getting the hearing aid. Very good. So what does this mean in terms of how accurate are these, right, compared to silicone? What kind of, what is our success rate in terms of fitting with that? Well, we're seeing in our trials, we've seen that instead of the average being about 18% on return, on, excuse me, on remakes, we're going down to 10 to 12%. So actually they don't have to go back to the clinic for Another time saver. Exactly, right? so yeah. fewer times back to the clinic saying it hurts their ear or it's not fitting or it's coming out. We're getting the fit uh, first time uh, higher success rate. Very good, very good. So that's enough of us talking about the benefits of it. I think the benefits are clear. Um, let's actually look and see what it does because I think it's pretty cool. This is the second time I've seen it, but let's kind of show them and explain kind of what we're doing. Exactly. So what we have here is we have the hand hand handheld scanner. Uh, it is actually a touch screen here. Uh, before I even get into the scanning, there are two lasers. So it's very important. So uh, we have a ring laser that will go into the canal. So it goes to this more of the curvy areas of the canal and the outside of the ear curve. And then we have a second laser, which is a, a, a line laser, which is for the flat areas. Okay, so we also have two cameras here. The patient will actually be wearing a headset. And the reason why is because when the scanner goes in, it needs to know where it left off when it goes back in. This is basically a GPS tracker for the scanner because the dots are unique to the scanner. So um, another really great feature is actually we never know exactly how long or how deep our uh, impressions are when we go in. This actually has a depth gauge. So the clinician will know exactly how deep they're going into the ear. And that's another thing that most manufacturers say about impressions that they're never long enough. Right. So that causes problems for retention in the ear. Right. Uh, and this time with this, we're at least getting 16 millimeters with our scans. 
You see, this is another great thing because invisible in the canal devices are really big right now. People want those devices to just vanish into the ear canal, but it does require an extremely deep impression, which can potentially be a little uncomfortable for a patient. Exactly. Right? And then depending on the provider that you have, they might not be comfortable doing an impression that deep. This kind of fixes those issues. Absolutely. So we're seeing our trials, we go four to six millimeters deeper than a silicone. Right. So we go way deeper and less discomfort. Right. And so no just to clear, uh, four to six millimeters is actually a big difference when we're talking about doing an ear mold impression. Absolutely. So yeah, absolutely. Very good. So what I'm going to do is give you an example yep. of the scan. So here we go. I'm going to, this is our test here. And so it's ready to go. I'm going to go into the canal and scan the canal. So I'm going in, i am got green, got the green area, which is the target area. Then I'm going to come out and I'm going to scan the top of the, the canal. You can see that. And Very there we good. go. And so uh, now we're going to go to the outside of the ear. And this is actually used in the line laser. This line laser, these lasers are very safe. So the line laser is what you see in like a grocery store where you actually scan a barcode, it's the same type of laser. So when patients ask if this is going to be hurt by pacemaker or any medical condition, I would say no, absolutely not. So we're going to be scanning here. I'm going to sweep into the concha area. So another safeguard is actually it lets you know if the, if the impression is not good. So if you see yellow, it means you need more data. Right. So actually, I'm going to finish this off. And, I'm and so sure. they're really getting a 3D image to where if they have any question about what the ear canal looks like, you know, what the actual concha looks like, um, they can actually see it from a manufacturer perspective to make a much more accurate Absolutely. mold as well. So we recommend that you use that the clinicians use this as a counseling tool. So basically, what you can do is here turn this around and you can actually show them if they're looking for an invisible hearing aid and they have a very narrow canal you can say to the patient unfortunately you're not a candidate for this type right. of hearing aid. so you can kind of rule that out initially so Absolutely. if you are someone who is interested in having a certain type of hearing aid having this kind of information before going into it uh, could be valuable uh, in that in that case right absolutely yeah. saves a lot of time too so uh, it also is a safeguard too if you order a hearing aid and you write on the order form you want a CIC for with a lot of components on there the manufacturers gonna call you back and say you, we can actually make right, this. Right. This will let you not ha let you do that. So you will know for sure if you can put what on the CIC or whatever hearing aid. So that way, there's fewer callbacks too. That also would hinder the time, the make the time longer for the patient waiting on the hearing right. aid if there's a lot of callbacks. Right. This prevents that for sure. Right. So there's uh, probably not a lot of clinicians at this point that even have this technology because it is really new, right? I mean, you guys, I, I know I talked with you guys at AAA. It had come out at that point. I'm not sure how long before that you guys actually released it. I know we released it in April this year. Okay, so it was in April it was at April. AAA. At okay. AAA, we launched it in the U.S. and four other countries. Okay, so um, might warrant a call to clinics to find out if this is something you're interested in having done in your ears, if you know you have a complicated um, uh, ear canal to do these impressions on if you've had issues before at your clinic um, this is something that might actually be able to overcome whatever kind of issues they're having with getting really solid impressions done on your ear so um, anything else we should know about this no I mean just uh, definitely I would ask for sure because this is uh, becoming more the best practice for clinicians and uh, it's just a much safer, more reliable uh, technique for impressions than what we're used to. That's excellent. Jackie, thank you so much for thank taking you. time with me today. I'm sure everyone is extremely excited to have witnessed what we just saw right there because it is not something you typically see. Um, I look forward to getting this in my clinic and actually starting using it on my patients as well. Well, we do too. Thank excellent. you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. Bye-bye. That's it. We'll see you next time.